Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and welcome back to another video in the series where we're building patches from scratch on the wonderful Arturia Micro Freak. So in the last video, I made a lead sound. So maybe the natural progression would have been to now move on and make a bass sound, but this synth has a SEM style filter. And it's my understanding that if you have a synth with a SEM style filter and you don't make a pad, then the synth police will come after you. So today, let's make a pad. So as to what kind of pad we're gonna to make today, now I don't wanna make like a super ambient weird uh, pad, although I will do one of those uh, in a few videos time, I think. But at the same time, I don't wanna make something where I'm just trying to pretend that I have a Juno or an OB6. So we're gonna make something that isn't exactly like totally conventional, but also isn't totally um, weird and wacky. So kind of like what would be a normal pad, I think for the Micro Freak. So here we are on the initialized patch. And if we're making a pad, then the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure we can play chords. So we can hit the paraphonic button, and now we can play chords. Now, as to whether or not this really should say paraphonic, um, I'll link to a Mark Doty video uh, where he quite rightly explains that we shouldn't really call this periphony. Uh, the reason being that although um, right at the end of the chain, it's going through a single filter, so there's a single sort of articulation right at the end, um, if this was a true paraphonic synth uh, and I had the envelope here, I wouldn't be able to start playing this note and have it fade in and then start playing another note and have it fade in as well. So what I'd maybe call this, um, if it were up to me, although it's not very snappy, is this is limited polyphony and partial articulation. Um, but that's maybe for another video to go into that in depth. So whenever we're making a patch on the Micro Freak, a good place to start is over in the digital oscillator section and kind of choose what kind of sound we're going to uh, start with before we start shaping it. So my gut originally when I was thinking about making a pad was that I was going to use the Super Wave sound here. And what this is is kind of the, um, it's kind of the super saw idea, except we've got different, um, different sounds. So basically you've got a, a, a single oscillator and then you can kind of fade in the superness here and then how uh, detuned the superness is so not very super really quite super probably a little bit too super uh, and you don't just have super saws you have super actually really like the super square That's a rather cool sound. But having demoed that, that's not actually the oscillator I'm gonna go with. Instead, we're gonna go up a couple more and go with the harmonics. So, the way this works, it's kind of like, um, kind of like a draw buzz on an organ. You've got kind of a basic sound and then you bring in more um, oscillators in the harmonic series. So we've got control over the harmonic content. And then we've got this sculpting, which changes the kind of the timbre of the uh, harmonic oscillators. And then at the end here, we've actually got this chorus. So that's without the chorus. And we can get quite rich sounds. And I reckon that these two knobs here would very much suit being modulated. So let's um, let's just pick ourselves a starting point. Get the chorus quite high, so we've got. Got some harmonic um, uh, content to work with and some richness as well. So um, let's see what the filter's gonna do to a sound like this. I'm going to play C minor seven a lot. <laughs> I make no excuses and I also make no apologies. I'll try some other chords later on. I might try one of those as well. Who knows? A bit of resonance. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's going to work for us. So um, let's get a bit more of a paddy kind of um, uh, attack to the sound. So we'll turn the attack up a little bit. nice okay so we've got that happening there bit of a fade in we want to get a bit more of a fade out and we will drop the sustain just a little bit so that we do have a bit of a dip right nice uh, and then let's make sure that, that filter opens up a little bit as we move our sound drop our cut off a bit more. I think we probably want to attack a bit longer. A bit darker overall. And you can hear here, this is where the sort of periphery happens. As I play another note and get the envelope moving, you'll hear that these two lower notes are also getting brighter as well. So that's kind of the paraphonic nature. It's not a problem, it's just something to be aware of. Okay, that's, that's giving me a good feel. Okay, uh, so let's start modulating these um, wave and timbre. Um, controls because I think that's going to be where we get a lot of richness from our sound. So I'm going to just click the rate knob here on the LFO so that it's not um, running sync. So I have full control over the rate and head into the matrix and we're going to go to the LFO line here. We're going to go to the wave and we're going to click that so that they're coupled together. And then let's have a play with the amount. slow at the moment. Oops, wrong one. Actually, do you know what? I reckon slow's good. Let's go slow but more. That's cool. Now, so um, the timbre um, control, the sculpt um, control here, so that, that kind of brought in more harmonic, sort of sharper sounds. So I think maybe we can open that up with the envelopes that we really emphasize at the top of the filter. So again, we'll just move uh, this along so that we've got the envelope talking to the timbre like that. Let's crank that a little bit and see how it sounds. That's, that's doing something cool, liking that. So um, maybe crank a bit more, see how that feels. That's introducing something interesting, isn't it? Let's let that die down. Let's try that again. Uh, let's try a different chord. Uh, let's try something like... release can be longer. I want to get this wobbling a little bit, so um, let's um, take that and we'll go to, uh, let's use the LFO again and s set that to pitch, so we're 
elevate the pitch just a tiny bit. Maybe half a cent is probably too much. That's on the edge of being too much. But I think that's just enough to keep things spooky. I love how those harmonics sort of fade in and out. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Um, I wonder whether actually we need to open that filter up just a little bit more than we are at the moment, just get it so it's brighter at the top end. And then just drop our sustain so it's it a little bit darker once it's held. Yeah, that feels good. That feels good. Uh, okay, so let's. Um, I want to get that filter moving, so we've got another set of timbral movement. But I don't want it being in sync with what's happening on the LFO. And in fact, I think maybe something a little bit more pronounced for the movement of the filter, something maybe a bit pingy. So we're going to use the cycling envelope for this. So we're going to start by uh, choosing our mod destination. So we're going to go cycling envelope, and that's going to be going to cut off here. And we'll make sure the amount on there is on full at the moment. And we'll just crank that up a little bit and see what's happening. Again, that moving that's a bit fast. Maybe a bit more. Okay, here's an idea. What if we had that full knob be modulated the way I'm doing here? So the speed of which that's going changes over time as well. That's a cool idea. So what we want to do, if we're going to do that, is we want to find the, the midpoint We're going up to about 400, so we'll set the midpoint at about 200. And then probably use the LFO again for that. So uh, what we need to do is actually choose that we want to uh, uh, adjust the fall here. So if we hold down a sign and just move uh, that, no, that's right, everyone, uh, the fall time there. So that means that a sign three is now going to be uh, adjusting that knob and we want to move it so that our LFO is going to assign three like so and then let's make sure that's back where it was more or less and turn this up Okay, how's this for a weird idea? I, I wonder what would happen if when this envelope got darker, the resonance turned up. My, my, my thinking being that once it's darker, I want those pings to be all the more obvious. So one approach we could take for that, I suppose, is to link our resonance to our envelope, but negative, so that when the envelope goes down, the resonance goes up. Uh, so let's take a sign two and let's assign that to resonance here. And in our mod matrix, we want to take our envelope to go to assign two there. We want to go negative because as the envelope goes down, as it gets darker on the filter, we want the resonance to go higher. So let's try something. <laughs> That's cool. 
nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I guess the, the, the main thing we haven't done here is we haven't made, uh, we haven't taken advantage of the awesome keyboard here on the Microfreak because we have our pressure sensitivity. Now, this can be set to be pressure or velocity. I think in this case, because we've got that sort of slow fading in, I think we probably want to go uh, with uh, it being uh, a pressure or aftertouch, which is the default. So that's fine. We don't have to do anything with that. Now, the question is, what do we want it to do? Now, I... So I've got, I've got kind of two ideas. Perhaps we'll try them both and see which one we want. The first one is... It's kind of straightforward. So that's to basically link it to the timbre control again. Actually, no, not timbre. Or actually, maybe timbre. <laughs> uh, maybe timbre uh, and uh, wave. So that's both the sculpt and the harmonics. See what that sounds like with a chord. So I can do this with different notes. Yeah. Okay. My other idea was to have it affect the um, rise of the cycling envelope, but I, I don't think that's going to be as good as that. So I'm going to stick with what I've got there. Um, so as we're starting to refine uh, the patch, a couple of things I think are, are coming to light. One, I think the resonance is now a little bit too high um, when it gets up the top there. The other thing is I think the overall sound could be a bit darker. Especially now we've got this kind of pinging thing happening. And a way to introduce further harmonics. Again, resonance a little bit high, because a bit harsh at the top there. Again, I reckon a little bit dark still. still gotta embrace the darkness sometimes so I wonder what it would sound like with a little bit of glide probably barely hear the glide at the front of the notes because of that sort of fade in I heard it there and it's too fast. Let's let it take its time since we've got that long attack. A really long glide. It's a bit cheesy, isn't it? I kind of like it. <laughs> I 
think darker still. Maybe we don't need to push the filter up so much on the envelope. Yeah, we're going to make it a little bit more mellow. Sometimes. Let's open up the sustain a little bit. Slightly shorter glide is working. It's not like short, short. Lots of harmonic movement. Soften that. I think we're pretty much there. There's only one way to tell for certain though. Let's turn on some reverb. Yes. makes everything better. Let's try it up in the high registers. And real low. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That was one of those patches which the basic ideas came together quite quickly and then that sort of last stage, sort of the last 10% of refining it and just getting it to sit just right just took a little bit longer. Um, and sometimes that's how it is with patches, like you have this, this sort of basic idea, this vision, and then most of what you're doing is just refining that so that it kind of works and so that it's sort of very playable and performable. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Micro Freak to come and of course lots of other synth stuff on the way as well. But anyway guys, thanks for joining me as always. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.